Well, the headline from the June jobs report is disappointing. Let's take a look at the numbers. 80,000 jobs created in the month of June. Unemployment staying at 8.2%. And to give you some perspective, we need to be creating 300 to 400,000 jobs a month to bring this rate down. That's not happening. Digging into the numbers, we still have 12.7 million Americans out of work. 5.4 million of them have been out of work for six months or longer. And we know that the longer you're out of work, the harder it is to find a job. That's very problematic. Um, looking a little bit deeper, something that's not counted in the unemployment rate that you need to know about is these two and a half million people. These are people that want to work, but they've given up looking for a job. Maybe they're discouraged. Maybe there's another reason. But these two and a half million people are not counted in the overall unemployment rate, so it's actually higher than 8.2 percent. Also, this is very important. What we saw in June is that the percent of African Americans that are unemployed has increased to 14.4 percent from the previous month. That is almost double the percent of whites that are unemployed. That is problematic. Hispanics, 11 percent out of work. So you can see it's higher for Hispanics and African Americans than it is for whites. Of course, this is extremely political. Let's take a look, just big picture here at the politics of this bleeding jobs, this economy, end of the Bush administration, beginning of the Obama administration. Then you see the pickup, and this is the recovery that the president refers to, but here's the key. Right here, this is April, May, and June. What we have seen is just anemic jobs growth, and this is also uh, a very important jobs report because we only have four more of these to come before the election and the question is what are the policies that are right to get this economy back on track and get Americans back to work. That is key. Poppy Harlow, CNN, New York.